One of the main advantages of using the curriculum track lesson planner is that you can have your lessons directly tied to your units themselves and you can pull unit content right into your lesson. So let's take a look at that. Let's go ahead and go to the lessons database for this teacher and let's work in second grade science and there's a number of lessons in here but let's say we want to add a brand new lesson. So we'll call it uh, test lesson just so we can recognize it very easily. And we're going to attach that to this unit called wetlands, wetlands, I guess it's called. Notice when I do that, I can attach it to date. But what I really wanted to show you is the unit attached uh, benchmarks. So these are the benchmarks that are currently attached to this unit, this two week unit. However, in this daily lesson, uh, let's say that I'm going to be utilizing this particular benchmark. Likewise, these attachments are the attachments that are attached to this unit. But maybe in this particular um, lesson, we want to use this water website. So you can pull some of that content down. And then if we continue on further, notice that there is objectives, activities, and materials where I can enter my lesson plan content. and so forth. So let's just copy that and paste that in these, whoops. Let's paste that in here and in here and add that. What I wanna show you is you can also pull other content down. In other words, if I go at the unit level, what I just pulled in was the attachments, which was these two, and there must be two more. These, so there was four of them as well as from the list of benchmarks. However, with curriculum track, you can also set it up so teachers could see, for instance, the assessments or skills and objectives or the Christ-centered integration and so forth. To do that, as an admin, you would have to go to the template. So go to admin setup, manage templates. I know that this course happens to use the default template so then if I click on the unit plan fields for that template and I can designate which fields I want to pull down or see within the curriculum map itself. So let's say for instance that I would like my resources to be pulled down. You'll notice data appears in. If you're using the lesson planner you should see this as well. So I would like to also see these resources, these unit resources in the lesson plan. Uh, let's do this also with the uh, skills and objectives. We're going to show that content as well. So you can show any of the fields that are in your maps, in your unit plans, have that be available in your lessons as well. So let's go back to the lessons database. Go to second grade science and uh, we were using this test lesson so let's edit that again. And so now notice that it has my skills and objectives and my resources right here. You don't have the ability to check them off, but it's still really nice to have those right here. So maybe that helps you as you're developing your unit. Uh, just a reminder what we need, what skills we want to have, or if you need to copy any of this content. So maybe you want to take these unit resources, or let's take this content right here, and I could copy it and I could paste it into any of these fields and click save as well. So again, it was only showing the fields that were selected. By default, it'll always have the unit benchmarks and attachments available to check off. But if you want that other content to be at the top, any other fields from the unit plan template, you can do that by going to admin, setup, go to manage templates, click on the fields for that particular um, template that's used and you click edit and then just make sure that it says yes for the lesson plan editing screen.